Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Adam Mora, and I'm going to be walking you through on how to set up government IT scanning for age verification. With the NRS software, we are age verification and RACS compliant, as long as you are using a certified 2D barcode scanner. RACS are a set of guidelines set forth by Juul Labs that enables retailers to enforce age restrictions at your point of sale. Currently, we have the Zebex model Z-3392 certified with our solution, and this will allow you to scan the barcode on the back of your customer's driver's license to confirm they are of age to purchase age-restricted items. To enable the RACS feature within the NRS software, you must be logged in as an administrator. Once logged in, you will then navigate to the Tools tile. Once in the Tools tile, you will then navigate to the Admin page. Once in the Admin page, you can then set the toggle to Yes, and this will enable the feature. For an extra step of security, you also have the ability to enable Manual Birthday Entry, and this will force your cashiers to manually enter the date of birth when age-verified products are scanned. For today's demonstration, we're going to leave the manual birthday entry set to no. Let's hit back to tools, back to home, and now into the register tile. Age verification is programmed at the department level. I would like to show you what happens when we attempt to sell a jewel product that requires age verification that is not in an age-restricted department. So let's navigate to my item here and ring up my item. And as you can see, the software flags us right away, letting us know the item must be associated with an age-restricted department in order to purchase. All right, so let's hit close to this message here. And let's take that same jewel product that we just rung up and put it into an age-restricted department so we can properly sell it. So let's navigate to our back office and into our price book and then into our departments, and then into add a new department. At this point, we can now give a department our name. We're gonna call this vaping products. And at this point, you can also enable any parameters that are needed for any items that you're selling out of this department. In this case, I'm going to enable sales tax. I'm also gonna enter the minimum age for this department, which is going to be 21. At this point, I can now hit OK to commit my changes. Now let's hit back to price book and locate our item. And there it is. At this point, we'll click on our item, and this will allow us to edit our item so we can put it into the right department so we can properly sell it. So I'll hit the drop down and locate our department. And there it is, vaping products. And at this point, I'll hit OK to commit my changes. At this point, we can now hit back to home and into the register tile and ring up our item. And as you can see, it prompts us for RACS verification. And at this point, I can now scan the barcode on the back of my license. And as you can see, it populates the license number, name, date of birth, my age, expiration date of my license, my height, and the state that I'm currently from. At this point, you can now hit verified and finalize the transaction. Also keep in mind, any baskets that have been age verified within the software, it is also tracked and recorded in your store report. If we navigate to terminal statistics, and then into the terminal report here, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that the basket that we just scanned has been recorded. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Again, my name is Adam Mora, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great day.